performances we now move on to the hindustani vocal performances we have the pillar of our academy the curriculum coordinator of hindustani vocals our very own chaitra ji who will talk about the theme of this year's hv performances our hv performers are accompanied by kartik bhat on the tabla namaskar music is the most beautiful form of expression art is the spirit of humanity the indomitable spirit of music has found its ways to express as well as preserve itself in its purest form so here we are with the seventh edition of sangam our theme this time is different phases of human life that come under brahmacharya grihastha vanaprastha and sanyasa this concept is dealt as a state of mind or conduct of a human being rather than just the physical growth of a human being for example a teacher needs to be a lifelong learner there is interplay of holding on to things and letting things go renouncing them we explore these phases of childhood of learning um of a sense of achievement a family life emotions of a mother of a guru of a seeker of a saint of youth dreams all this interviewed with various compositions all these compositions come under the large umbrella of hindustani vocal music this encompasses khayal thumri bhajan and uh, a bit of folk music as well so this com- comes under shastriya and upashastriya sangeet presenting magan rehna a kabir bhajan this is a description of a state of joy attained by experiencing the divine within one's own self tero piya tere ghat mein basata hai the singers are achievers in various fields music is something that they have given their 100% to and music is equated to the state of joy magan rehna
that was amazing 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 wow okay i'll introduce you to our artist shankar ji it's uh, sharuni nair from malaysia mridula nirupama mithali avandana uh, medha shifali and madhu from america ankita nidhi reka deepthi mithali devina and archana from india and jayshri banushali from australia <laughs> amazing i mean people from all over the world isn't this like bring the world together rashmi what do you think isn't it definitely and don't you think we should also get purban ji to just share what he felt after listening to this so sorry sir i was i loved it magan rehna and uh, you know such a beautiful presentation by all the uh, you know hindustani classical uh, vocalists and you know i was enjoying it and i was moving to the beat and it's so uh, uh, like peppy at the same time you know it's classical it's it's beautiful truly overwhelmed thank, thank you so Purban. much thank, thank you. you so much purban ji for your valuable feedback we now have our student sharuni nair who has a question i request sharuni to unmute herself and ask her question okay pranam shankar ji um so my question is um when we do our voice practice right when we do our vocal practice our riyas so is that a, a plus point to do the riyas to do the practice while using the harmonium so all that will uh, or will it bring any like a negative impact on our training that we will be too much dependent on the harmonium or something like that Uh, sharuni i think you have got two instruments playing right now that's why i think your phone and your laptop or something that's why there's a feedback happening okay so you can shut one of those uh okay. sharuni where are you where are you calling from okay i'm from malaysia malaysia okay uh, you know yeah. uh, i think i think harmonium is an instrument that mm -hmm. helps your voice to move along when you are pitching you know for example sagama bagama re sagama da malanga bagama re it just supports you okay but okay if you really want to practice pitching mm -hmm. properly uh to to achieve where your pitching is uh, uh you know perfect in spite of the fact that you know there is no backing i think it's first you practice with harmonium and then slowly remove the hands of the harmonium and practice only with the tanpura i'll give you an example it's like walking on a tight rope okay you're walking on a tight rope with supports in the beginning so you walk on the tight rope reach from one end to the other with supports you come back and you keep practicing that and slowly one day what do you do you leave both your hands and you're walking without support and if you manage to do that what happens is your pitching becomes perfect in spite of the fact that there is nobody to support you so i would advise you eventually okay. see firstly you practice with harmonium once you get used to that you start practicing without the harmonium practicing without the harmonium is really challenging okay yeah? thank you so much sir thank, thank you, you so much thank you so much shankar ji for uh, such an insightful answer to a very beautiful question by sharuni and i also thank all the participants of the song magan rehna